How many students are we expecting more? Uh, how many students are we expecting more? If the coordinator can please respond, it would be nice. Yes, ma'am. Good evening. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, see of uh, Valur College. Okay. So, is it is it all? Shall shall we start the session? Uh, yes, ma'am. We can start, ma'am. I think almost students have come. All right. Yeah. Great. Thank you so much. Sir. Okay. All right. Uh, good yes. afternoon. Yeah. Good evening, everyone. So, I'm Anusha, um, and I'm going to be a trainer for today. All right. Uh, we are going to have a small session on. Resume building. So we are going to understand about how to write a resume, what a resume is. So I'll, I'll give you some tips and tricks of how to resume, write a resume, so on and so forth. But before that, I would like you all to introduce yourself. Just with your name, tell me uh, which department are you all from, which year you're studying and um, your college name. All right. Um, so I, re I really would expect and really would appreciate if the session is more of an interactive session rather than just me, uh, you know, uh, you all and you all. Um, okay, thank you. All right. Okay, so it would really be nice if we can have an interactive session rather than just me talking to the blank screen that, you know, at the end of the day, I'm going to sleep off, y'all are going to sleep. So it is not going to be effective whatsoever, right? So it would really be nice if you all can have an intra if we all can have an interactive session. And uh, please feel free to ask any doubts that uh, you may. Um... Okay, all right, so feel uh, free to um ask me any doubts and if at all you know i tend to have this habit of uh, uh, talking really fast um, after some time so please if at all if you, it is not understandable if you're not un if you're unable to understand please make sure you stop me there and uh, uh, you know maybe i'll just pause and i'll i'll, I'll start it over again uh, in a in a more uh, subtle and slow way all right okay so um I hate to call up students and uh, randomly and um, ask them to introduce yourself. It would be nice if you all can, uh, you know, start introducing yourself with the name, uh, you know, with the uh, with the points uh, pointers that I mentioned. Maybe you can introduce yourself with your name, your class, or your course name, which you are, and uh, the place where you belong to. All right. So, if um, who wants to start first? Uh, how about a uh, yes, Maithili, please. Hi, ma'am. Uh, my name is Maithili Lobande. I'm from Nanded. I'm studying in a BSW um, third year class. Now fifth sem is going on. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, that's it. So which course are you studying? I mean, I, I, I quite did not understand which course you're studying. Bachelor of Social Work, ma'am. Bachelor of Social Work. Awesome. All right. So uh, who would want to do next? Anybody would uh, like to do next? I'm just asking you all for an introduction. You don't have to raise your hand. Just please, you know, unmute and talk. That is absolutely fine, Premnath. Yeah, go on. Hi, ma'am. I'm Premnath. I'm uh, I'm coming from uh, Karur District. I'm performing a Bachelor of Business Administration degree in Valuar College of Science and Management. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, steady, I'm performing second year in okay. BBA degree. Okay. Great, Premnath. You got to say you're studying in BBA degree, but wonderful, lovely, very nice, Supremnath. Okay, who would want to go next? Who wants to go next? Good evening. Good evening. I'm Lokesh from uh, Valor College. I'm currently doing second year BBA in Valor College. I'm from Karu. Great, Lokesh, lovely. So, um, anybody else? Maybe one or two more uh, I'd like uh, you all to introduce. How about Raghavi Sengutavan? Raghavi Sengutavan, would you like to introduce yourself? Would you like to introduce yourself, Raghavi? Um, an answer won't hurt, I believe. Okay. Um, Jayashri Shanmugam. I 
I think rather than you know going on for resume writing, I should I should teach you all the basic etiquettes of online learning, right? I'm sure you all would have uh, uh, been having an online session for the past two years, and uh, look at the response I'm receiving now. No one would want to unmute except for a very few students. Appreciated and thank you so much for those students who unmuted and you know immediately responded at the moment I ask you that that base that is the basic respect you show uh, towards your men mentors or the coaches, right? Okay. Anyways, now um, I don't think I should be teaching um, anything about respect so it should come from within all right so okay so in today's session we are going to learn about resume writing so can someone tell me what do you understand by a resume or what do you mean by a resume what is a resume please feel free to talk irrespective of you know you being right or you feel if it is wrong doesn't matter at all all right at the end of the day i want you all to understand and i want you all to have better um you know better interaction with me so please feel free um to um interact with me ask me doubts and also to respond to me for the questions that i ask okay so what do you mean by your resume what is a resume how many of you all have come across this word resume anyone Ma'am. Yes, please, Premnath. Yeah, go on, Premnath. Resume is known as uh, nothing but uh, it's uh, describe myself to uh, others. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, uh, your voice was breaking. Can you please uh, tell that again, Premnath? Resume, resume is nothing but uh, it's describe myself as others uh, to others. Okay, so in a way, not exactly right, but yeah, a little bit. Kind of okay, all right. So basically, what is a resume? A resume is a it's a summary of your academics and your work history. All right, it is not just a summary of your academics and work history, but also a resume is a true depiction of your personality. It uh, talks about your background, your capabilities, your accomplishments, how organized you are, and also your sense of quality which i'm going to explain you all of all all um you know all of it um in a bit but i would like you to understand resume does not just show about the summary of your academics and also work history many would think resume is just a summary of your academics and work history but added to the resume there is a whole lot of things which would be added all right so it can it describes your personality through a resume you can talk about your background your capabilities your accomplishments how organized you are you know it can talk everything about your soft skill as well so basically what exactly is a resume a resume you know is that little sheet of paper or uh, uh, you know uh, that soft copy which you sent across to the employers to sell yourself so basically you you know that is like a sales pitch the one which you have in your hand is like a sales pitch all right resume is like a sales pitch where you pitch yourself to your potential employers okay so what do you mean by resume again resume does not just talk about your work um your academics and your work, or your work history but it also gives you a vivid description about your personality your background your capabilities your accomplishments how organized you are and also it gives you a better understanding about the sense of quality so all of these you know how organized you are your sense of qualities in a true sense it depicts your soft skills okay so what um, uh, how many of you all um, have soft skills are uh, training at your college do you all have soft skill training on a continuous basis on a regular basis do you all have soft skill training yes no no ma'am no all right okay so basically soft skills is nothing but it talks about you know how to bring in the best from you all right it talks about uh, your intercommunicate interpersonal skills it talks about your communication skills uh, soft skills represents your uh, you know your it represents basically how well you work in a team it represents your leadership qualities it represents how adaptable you are how flexible you are so basically all of the traits which are very personal to you those are called as soft skills so do you all understand what exactly does a resume uh, depict what exactly is a resume do you all understand that everybody maybe at least show raise hand yaar it's really frustrating to talk to a screen without anybody having to respond right so please 
it would be nice if you can just say a yes or a no ma'am yes. can yes maithili can you repeat please yeah so basically what is a resume resume is nothing but it doesn't just talk about your work history or uh, you know your academic qualification but also it gives you a vivid description about your personality your background your capabilities your accomplishments how organized you are and also your sense of quality all right so all these things are represented in a resume so basically resume is little is that little sales pitch or that advertisement that helps you sell yourself to your employer okay now moving on what can a resume do for you so what are the things how many of you all here have prepared your resume how many of you all have prepared your resume all response how many of you all have prepared your resume okay maithili alone premnath and maithili very good nobody else looks like just premnath and maithili are here in the session okay all right a few have represent so what does a resume do for you put it in the chat box please what does a resume do for you what does a resume do for you or what is the purpose of writing a resume can someone tell me what is the purpose of writing a resume are you all this quiet all the time is you know don't you all respond to your uh, lecturers to your uh, professors it's it's surprising you know i haven't had any batch like this being so quiet usually uh, you know nettle classes are very interactive i'm not sure what is wrong with this batch but anyways i'm just going to uh, you know continue with the class that i'm um, that i've been assigned to okay so what can a resume do for you it makes the first impression about you so the moment you send out your resume to a job applicant or to a job you know to a prospective employer what does a resume do it creates a first impression okay so this is the person it creates a very first impression about you also in a resume you will be able to organize your thoughts you'll be able to highlight the relevant facts about you your education and your experience all right so all these will be a part of your resume so what are your educational qualifications so you can you can add in relevant facts to your education your uh, you know your technical skills your areas of expertise what skills you have what are your responsibilities your roles and responsibilities your objectives so thereby creating a certain value in an employer making the employer understand that there exists a person like this who is looking for a job for so and so all right so basically resume is nothing but that soft copy or that hot copy which gets you an interview all right the moment um, uh, an interviewer looks at the interview he is going to decide whether you get into the interview or you don't get into the interview so always make sure you your resume is very 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 impressive okay so again what all the things the resume can do for you apart from getting into an interview it gives you it gives the employer a way a, a wide exposure about your qualification and your skills and also it is a basis for the interviewer to justify your hiring so this is the first step into the job uh you know uh, this is the first step into getting a job all right so it acts as a basis for the interviewer to justify why is that interviewer hiring for that particular job okay so why give importance to the resume why is resume very 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 important so basically um imagine you all are studying in a college and there are about 50 odd students in the class and the resume for all the 50 students is going to be the same because you all graduated from the same course you all are you know finished your undergraduation from the same course your schoolings so on so so roughly you know all of your 50 or uh, you know whatever uh, number of people in your class all of the resumes are going to be the same okay but how is your resume going to stand out 
how do you think is your resume going to stand out now i really want you all to respond because i'm really feeling sick talking just to a blank screen unable to understand that you are you know you are on the receiving end or you just putting on the you know google meet and you all are sleeping so i'd like you all to respond here not just maithili and prema but everybody so given your opinion about why do you need a resume and because uh, resume helps to uh, give a technical uh, resume gives to uh, key, key skills and the technical software skills to uh, by ours ma'am very very good premnath you know i appreciate you know i um, appreciate uh, uh, you know you're the only person i think you and maithili are the only person who are responding appreciate it all right because i'm 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 feeling sleepy uh, uh, teaching to you all because neither the coordinator is responding nor anyone so i'm not really very sure how to go about with this session okay so anyways so what are the you know how do you think your um, your resume is going to be uh, attention grabbing so basically there is a lot of competition okay there is a lot of competition from the outside world but in spite of all that you all need attention grabbing resume so basically resume is going to be the first point of interaction between the employer and you all right so it is going to be the first point of interaction between the employer and you the employer is going to justify himself with the resume that you sent across all right so what is the employer going to do he is going to justify himself with the resume or justify himself by offering an interview for you by the resume that has been sent across okay and then spend time on preparing targeted effective and error free documents so your resume should always be effective and error free i will target i will talk to you regarding the different errors which might occur in a resume so i would want you all to you know target the resume uh, to uh, to make it very effective and also error free okay so usually a hiring manager spends not more than 50 to 20 seconds per resume so he the person once you apply for a job the person you know he might the hiring manager gets about hundreds and 200s of resume and uh, usually the manager is not going to spend more than 15 to 20 seconds on your resume all right so basically he is just going to look at the top third portion of your resume if interested he is going to go through the rest else he is just going to ditch that particular resume and move on to the other one okay so please make sure your resume is one of those attention grabbing resumes and then a clear and crisp resume will qualify you for the interview so what does it say here a clear and crisp inter uh, i'm sorry resume is going to qualify you you for the interview okay so always make sure you get an attention grabbing resume your resume should be up to date and it also has to get, you know um, grab the attention of your hiring manager so please make sure when you write in your resume your uh, your top 3 portion are the best okay because the competition is the competition is very fierce you just and uh, at the end of the day you got to justify yourself with the resume okay now moving on what are the benefits or what are the essentials of a resume so what are the essentials so basically a resume should have an objective or a personal statement it should contain personal details like your telephone number your email address your address so on and so forth it should also mention your educational qualification your previous educational qualifications your current educational qualification it's got to talk about your professional experience what do you mean by your professional experience professional experience means you know since you all are freshers in case if you have uh, you know interned with any company have you done you know have you have you kind of uh, worked part time so make sure you put in all your professional experience into your resume and then talk about your technical qualification they might be a lot of you might be very good with ms office you might be very good with uh, you know c uh, c programming you might be very good with cloud computing so talk about all of the core competencies all about you know all about your areas of expertise your technical qualifications so on and so forth also being freshers i would suggest that you all mention your accomplishments and your achievements okay accomplishments and achievements are really necessary whenever you make your resume since you all are being freshers and finally references what do you mean by references references are nothing but 
uh, um, references are nothing but say for example you are studying in this particular college and then uh, you know in order to understand in order the, for, for the employer to understand that you are basically from this particular college are you are you know you are a well versed student are you are a good student you definitely need one or two members from your faculties to be added as a um, you know added as reference all right so now do you all understand what are the essentials of a, a resume yes ma'am yes ma'am yeah so now tell me what are the important points that needs to be added in a resume from educational qualification technical skills and uh, personal details uh, achievements and uh, references sk uh, skills area of, of expertise mm -hmm. uh, and your personal details very good so basically uh, uh, an organized uh, you know an organized uh, professional or uh, maybe you know freshers we might uh, um, we might think uh, think them to be uh, freshers all right so what are the what are the things according to you i'm sure most of you all would have finished your resume so what are the things that you all have added in your resume so what do you mean by an objective or a personal statement oh, okay so let me tell you the ob the objectives or the personal statement is not just for the experienced job seekers all right even if you are someone who is just starting your career or uh, have no previous experience in the field you can present yourself as a prospective candidate for the job by writing a small crisp profile summary okay that describes your career aspects in a more professional way so how are you going to write you're going to describe about the aspects of your career in a more professional way all right so for example you can talk a fresher looking for a role as a customer su uh, support executive or uh, i'm a fresher looking for a job into the networking uh, you know into networking analysis so on and so forth so like i told you personal details contain uh, uh, the telephone number the email address the you know all of the personal details which would be required educational qualification your previous your under graduation your post graduation if you have any uh, certifications and also your professional experience if you have interned with anything if you have worked for uh, you know work for any company you can add in as your professional uh, qualification uh, professional experience technical qualifications are nothing but the technical certifications that you have got all right so these are the certifications that you would have apart from you know going to college i'm sure you know many would have uh, gone through many certifications right be it typewriting be it c c++ python programming cloud networking uh you have you know leadership um, training you have so many qualifications right so you can include all of that and what are your core competencies competencies what you are very good at what you are majoring in for example if you are a business management student so what you major is it financial accounting or business mathematics so your core competencies you will be talking about here okay similarly the areas of expertise also represents the place um, of which you are very very good at achievements and accomplishments are nothing but what you have achieved over a period of 3 years or over a period of uh, your schooling and your college education and finally references like i mentioned it is going to be your references from either your hod or your principal or from your dean so on and so forth okay so now here while writing a great resume always make sure you write a resume with a target in mind and be appropriate all right so if at all you are going to apply for the job or for the role of a customer service executive try to uh, you know try to customize your uh, resume based on customer support executive all right do not um, do not just have one resume and click click apply to all of uh, to all of the employers that is that is that is going to put the um, hiring managers off put off the hiring managers all right so please make sure you customize your your resume according to the needs of the job description okay all right so always make sure you analyze job ads and job description and compose a resume to address the requirements always make sure you address the requirements you can customize the resume in a much better way compose a resume to address the requirements always make sure you address the requirements whatever is given enjoy i cannot emphasize enough on this 
please make sure whenever you're creating a resume make sure we all are here in the 22nd century i mean 22nd in 2022 right there are uh, seven year old kids who are uh, in the process of creating uh, apps and websites and uh, here we are not even understanding how to create a resume so please you know take at most care when you are creating a resume okay so analyze the job ads analyze the job description and then compose your res resume according to those requirements okay do not like i told you please do not sh uh, shoot out the resume the same resume to all of the jobs okay you all understand now you all understand yes ma'am ma yes ma okay great so whenever you write an objective or obje objective or a personal summary or a personal statement what is a personal statement you got to write a few brief and direct sentences okay at the top of your resume okay this um, this uh, professional summary is a personal mission statement as what you want this this is the main thing which is used to grab the attention of the recruiter or the hiring manager so basically what does it show it summarizes the essential experiences or training that you can bring to the plate or you can bring to that particular position okay so now do you all understand i'm going to give you all 5 minutes i want you all to go through whatever i have said until now and i want you all to ask me any doubts so 5 minutes i will restart i'll resume my starting back again by 4:40 So please ask me if at all you have any doubts please put it in the chat box how many pages should we write a resume very good question so basically a resume should not go beyond two pages all right what okay now tell me what is the difference between a curriculum vitae and a resume what is the difference between curriculum vitae and a resume what is the difference between a curriculum vitae and a resume ma'am mm -hmm. resume is used for job and curriculum vitae is used for academic purpose okay so the main difference between a resume and a curriculum vitae both can be used for academic purposes all right your resume can also be used for academic purposes whereas uh, uh, your cv can also be used for work purposes so the difference between curriculum vitae and resume is nothing but resume is just going to give a summary of your education qualification and how you are as a person whereas curriculum vitae gives you a detailed explanation about everything okay about your educational qualification about your work experiences about uh, you know about your uh, you know the schools that you have studied you know what are the courses a small description about the courses you know it can give uh, it basically gives you an objective and a detailed explanation for each of the category whereas summary is nothing but summary you just give a small summary for your resume resume is nothing but a summary of your curriculum vitae okay so this is how you create a resume should not go beyond two um, i mean yeah two pages max it should only contain the relevant information please do just because you have you have about 70 certifications done you know lots of free certifications done please do not make sure uh, please do not put everything inside your resume resume should always contain relevant information okay make sure re resume should always have relevant information okay so now moving forward okay so now resume is also a place where you can 
highlight your strength okay so this is a place where you can prove the hiring managers or the employers as why you are a better choice than your competition okay so you always can prove to your hiring managers that why you are the better pick for them than the other other person in the or other person in the market all right so always write highlight your achievements highlight the targets achieved okay in case if you have any value additions in your previous job if you have any or, or if you have done internships or if you have volunteered for a social cause if you have you know if you have you know for example like climate change um, uh, for uh, if you have volunteered for uh, you know saving animals Uh, if you have done any mini projects please make sure to highlight all of it in your resume a summary of all of it would be much 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 needed okay so what are the things to be written for a great resume so always write a mid moderate size resume like i told you it should not go beyond um beyond the page and a half to two pages okay use the right font size so what is the right font size you will either be using times new roman or arial font size 12 11 or 12 and not anything more than that okay so make sure you write your job descriptions or your qualifications in a chronological order so make sure you know you have your latest experience written on the top followed by the previous i mean followed by the last one okay i mean followed by your earlier one okay make sure it is in a chronological order it is very 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 important like i told you the um recruiters are only going to go through the top third of your resume so make it an attention grabbing resume make the make your resume worthwhile for the recruiter or the hiring manager okay so now do you all have any doubts any doubts no ma'am you are clear Yes, because uh, you know by five o'clock, I am going to ask you all to start writing a resume, and you are not leaving the session without showing me. Okay, so please make sure you're do you're doing that. You're listening carefully to uh, whatever the resume. You all are going to share your screens. Okay, all right. So now moving on. again make sure you mention correct employment dates and designation okay so if at all you have worked anywhere before make sure to mention the right employment dates please do not give any uh, any fake dates when it comes to your resume okay so also a resume can use um, employers can always use a background check to validate your information so please make sure you do not give any fake details let every single thing you put on your resume be correct okay so if the data in a resume is fake your chances are zero okay and uh, even it i uh, you might even end up not being hired by anybody so please do not put any fake information on your resume and before you forward it or before you uh, finalize with your resume make sure your resume is free of uh, um, you know typo errors you know grammatical errors there is absolutely no excuse for a resume with grammatical errors please make sure there are no grammatical errors there are no typing mistake there are no spelling mistakes okay so um, make sure you check with the spell correct or the auto correct whatever you call it as make sure you do that okay there should not be any any grammatical errors or any uh, uh, spelling errors in your resume also use action words to demonstrate that you are a person who initiate and pro act okay so use words like organized directed planned created assisted initiated analyzed developed managed so on and so forth okay so these are the action words um which needs to be <clears throat> included okay so any doubts until now no ma'am any doubt no doubt at all how come how come you don't have any doubt how come no one has any doubt here
maybe you can put your questions in the chat box okay this seems really weird <laughs> okay so all right so what are the things that you should not do in a resume okay please do not state your expectations out of the job rather tell what you can contribute do not since you all are freshers do not give your do not set your expectations do not set your context to the uh, recruiters all right but rather ask them or tell them what is that you can contribute what is that you can offer to the uh, you know to that particular company what is that you can contribute to the particular company do not list the names of supervisors or contact and for if at all you have worked in a previous you know if at all you have worked if you have past experiences make sure you do not list the names of your supervisors or contact information about your past employment never ever do that in your resume also be very careful with the dates like i told you be very careful with the date make sure every year is accounted for okay employers sometimes they tend to get suspicious when they see fake dates and when they see many gaps in between the resume and also do not disclose the salary okay make sure you do not ask the salary they would definitely have a fixed package um, already done so don't disclose a salary also do not disclose you know reason for leaving your previous employment your availability to start the new job so on and so forth all right keep them to be discussed in the interview okay so always yeah keep them posted but do not give a lot of information about yourself okay and do not be wordy while using job responsibilities use bullet don't make it into one huge big paragraph and uh, uh, just uh, you know confuse the employer or confuse the hiring manager okay make sure you list everything down with the help of bullet points okay and finally paste a photograph to furnish refer and also furnish references if at all you are asked to okay so i have uh, completed my resume building i'm going to give you all a recap of what resume is and then i'm going to take questions and then i'm take going to take a few questions after which we are all going to create a resume okay so what exactly is a resume a resume is nothing but a formal document that provides an overview of your professional qualification including your relevant work experience experience your skills your education and also you know it could be your notable accomplishments usually the resume are paired with a cover letter which for the sample which i'm going to show you all in a bit okay so what is again what again is a resume a resume is nothing but it is going to help you demonstrate your abilities and also convince the employers as wh why you are a qualified person or why you are a suitable person or why you are a hireable person for that particular job okay so on a base level um, resume is made up of uh, you know exactly to be precise five parts all right so you're going to have contact details you're going to have introduction you're going to have your educational background you're going to write in your work history and also you're going to write in your relevant skills okay so many job seekers assume that the purpose of a resume is to provide full overview of their professional history no but it is not like that like i told you there is always a difference between resume and curriculum vitae a resume is a summary of all of these details whereas a curriculum vitae Day is a detailed explanation of everything all right um so what are the things that you again include in your detailed contact details you include your you know first and your last name you can include your phone number include your email address additionally you can also add in your linkedin profile if if at all if it is up to date and please make sure if at all you are on the lookout for a corporate job or for some serious job if you are hunting the job seriously make sure you create a linkedin profile okay linkedin is nothing but a platform where professionals connect with each other through that you will be able to get a lot of internship lot of work opportunities you'll be able to connect with other profession professionals from your same field from a different field you will be exposed to a lot of things you will get exposure to a lot of things okay so try to you make a uh, create an account with linkedin and try to be update okay so introduction what should your introduction be it should be a very concise overview of your professional background okay also keep your qualifications your introduction can be in the form of a resume summary or they you could add a small professional profile or you can even add an objective or and then it can uh, have your qualifications 
summary. So what are the things you're going to add in your uh, education? Please tell me. What are the things that you're going to add in your education? I'm really I'm feeling tired. degree and PG degree. Okay, very good. So include your school names followed by the chronological order of your degree, your highest degree earned first, your majors, your minors, so on and so forth. Additionally, you can also add in your GPA score, CGPA score, if it is, you know, try to add it if it is more than 3.8 or 4, okay? And also add relevant course words. If at all you lack experience, that's absolutely fine. Just add in the course or anything related to that particular position, okay? And then moving to the experience, if at all you have any prior experience, if you have worked uh, anywhere, make sure you add in all those relevant experiences along with the exact correct date, okay? And make it in bullet points with your key responsibilities and uh, if at all you had any success in that particular uh, uh, you know, particular um, uh, uh, particular particular job or if you had given anything to that particular uh, uh, job, please make sure to include all of that, to include uh, include the accomplishments on your resume as possible. Try to add in a lot of accomplishments, okay? And next, you will be adding your skills. So, what are the skills? Include any any resume skills you possess. It could be relevant to the position, irrelevant to the position. It could be anything. So, please make sure you add in all your hard skills, your soft skills to demonstrate that you are an all-rounder or a well-rounded candidate. Okay? Now, you all understand Yes, you all understand? Yes, ma'am. Yes, you all understand now. Great. Okay. So, why do you think is resume important for jobs? Because I'm going to ask you the question, then you're going to come up with answers. Tell me, why do you think resumes are important for job seekers? Resume helps to highlight from others. Okay, and then? What else? We test to know a person's uh, qualification and, and about his academics. Great, okay. Lovely. Okay, so basically, what is, why is a resume important for job seekers. So your resume, you know, whenever you send a resume, make sure you send it along with a cover letter. So that is an essential, like I already told you, it is an essential part of the hiring process, okay? And it is a base requirement, okay? It is a base requirement to be considered into a position or considered for a particular position. So like I told you, a good resume is the first part of your, um, you know, is, is going to be your first part of your application. Any hiring manager will see. So it is very, very, very important that it conveys your qualification accurately and also convincingly all right so you've got to convince uh the you've got to very well convince the hiring manager why you are the best fit for your uh, particular job or be it a fresher or be it an experience you've got to convince the hiring manager why you are the best fit among the 50 other students okay so basically it should employ it should offer employers a digestible overview of your relevant skills your educational qualifications your employment history your internship details your soft skills your hard skills so on and so forth so based on this information, they can make an informed decision about the hiring managers can make an informed decision whether or not to conduct an interview for you all. So now I'm going to stop sharing this and I'm going to give you all a sample resume. All right. I want you all to note it down. So I'll give you all five minutes to note that. Uh, what is that? Okay, so this is this is one of the best resumes which I received a while back. Okay, so can you all see how uh, there is a professional photograph when you attach a photograph? There should be a professional photograph. All right, please no social media DPs in your resume. Make sure it is a white background or a blue background and uh, formal dressing. Make sure it is a professional photograph. All right, and then your contact details okay so this person has mentioned your contact details onto your left hand side of your a4 size paper there are of course yes there are a lot and lots of templates available free templates available online but please make sure don't try to you know don't try to take templates which would uh, uh, which really would crank people's mind take a very very easier template take a normal template okay 
so here uh, he has given the contact details his email address and then he has given his personal information right so he has given his home address city date of birth place of birth age height weight yeah uh, civil status and national um, i'm sorry religion not very necessary but um no harm in doing that okay so what are the objectives objectives are nothing uh, you will have to talk about what your objectives why do you want to submit this resume so you are seeking to be a part of a reputable institution and be a partner achieving their goals all right so i'm going to give you all 5 minutes please note down all of these please note it down so um please make sure to note down i don't really want you all to write every single detail just take the relevant details and take the important information along so uh, on to your left top corner you will be writing your um, your contact date i'm sorry your name your contact details on to your right corner there will be your photograph make sure it is a professional photograph all right and following which you will be writing your professional information uh, your address your city your date of birth followed by your age height weight um not necessarily your civil status um if you want yes you can yeah i'm sure you know i'm not sure uh, there might be girls who are married so if you told you want to make your civil status highlighted please make sure to put in your resume following which you will be writing your objective so what do you mean by an objective like i told you there should be a small little personal summary about why you want this job so here this person is a nurse and he is asking uh, himself to be part of a reputable institution and maybe partner to to achieve his goals following which he is giving all of his educational details in the chronological order so if you note down so he completed his education in june 12 uh, 2011 following which you know 2010 20 5 uh 2005 um so all of uh, his details highest first following towards the uh you know towards the earliest part of his education all right so make sure you write it in a chronological order okay so moving on he has also mentioned his skills so he has clearly mentioned step by step in a bullet points you know he has written given it line by line so there is he is computer literacy his microsoft word and powerpoint excelled in that so he's got good interpersonal communication skills and good command on english communication also good educational background in nursing school so he since he is a nurse there is a uh, small information about the skills which he uh, he finds it relevant to that particular employment following which there are achievements and also he has mentioned about the seminars and trainings which he has attended so being your you know being part of a, a college being you i'm sure you know most of you all would have been part of so many seminars and so many trainings and especially now you know when whenever there are lots of uh, uh, you know uh, the past two years have been uh, happening online and i'm sure a lot of you all would have taken free seminars free, free webinars um free press you would have done lot of presentations so you can add in every single thing but do not but please make sure you do not give in detailed description in a resume you just give a small summary of what seminars you attended what webinars you attended so if at all you know your seminars and the number of training go beyond more than a page make it into a beautiful tabular column or you know uh, the uh, date attended the name of the seminar and where was it conducted so make it into a tabular the column put the tabular column in your resume all right so following which the affiliations if at all you have uh, uh, worked for any social cause if you have worked for any kind of you know non governmental organization if you have volunteered yourself during the pandemic you know you can or if you are associated with any ngos there are so many ngos like like teach for india you've got bumi you've got uh, uh, so many uh, you know you yeah, make a difference so if at all you have worked uh, or if at all you volunteered with any ngos please make sure to uh, you know associate all that in your resume and find only your references like i told you your resume should definitely have a have a reference there will always be a background check or how do you how do you think the employer is going to uh, um suffice your resume how do you think he uh, he is going to think that this resume is apt and uh, this resume is fake proof right so always make sure you add in resume uh, references and references make sure it is either your hod or your uh, teaching faculty no student or no anybody working on par with you okay so the references should definitely be from the mid management position or from the higher management position and it could be your hods it could be your teaching faculty it could be your principal it could be your dean so on and so forth and finally you certify the above information or the information that you have given is absolutely 
true to the best of your belief okay make sure you give the statement which means that at least to some extent you can you know the hiring managers are going to believe that it is uh, you know the resume is not a fake one and they can move forward okay so how this is how you write a resume okay so now coming to the main part do you have any doubts or do you want me to go to the front are anyone taking notes on this Okay. Also, I would like to insist on this fact that um, a resume, unlike a CV, CV can be sent out to you know CV is a common one where you give a detailed explanation of everything. All right. Whereas a resume should be modified for each and every job position so that it is as relevant as possible. So that is one small thing. And uh, basically, just um, the goal of your resume is to quickly and effectively show your potential employer or your hiring manager why you're uniquely qualified for that job. All right. So in a crowd of 50 or in a crowd of 100, why is your resume act for that particular job interview? All right. And so try to add in all of the relevant experiences and skills. So now moving forward, let me give you a small idea of how your cover letter should be. So let me read it out for you to, who, to whomsoever it may concern. Good day. Okay, so this letter is in response to your job uh, advertisement or um, if at all you're applying it on your own, definitely make sure you use this line. Okay, so given your age, given a small background about your educational qualification, where you're working, so on and so forth, and also your educational ba uh, background and related learning experiences. Okay, so what are the experiences? So if at all you're doing a, uh, uh, if you're volunteering with any organizations or if you're doing internship with any organizations or if you're working part time, make sure you add in all of that to your educational background and to your um you know qualifications and also say that you have attached this letter along with your resume with a photograph all right so for also give their telephone number i'm sorry give your telephone number and yours truly name of the applicant okay so what uh, so this is how a cover letter should be uh please our students please make sure you uh, uh take a um a screenshot or make sure you write it down i'll give you all five minutes please note this letter down okay ma'am we will take a screenshot yes okay suit your convenience whatever that um is suitable for you So are you all done taking a screenshot? Y'all are done? Yes, ma'am. It's just one response. Come on here. Respond to me. At least raise your hand or put a yes in the chat box. Great. All right. Okay, so here before we, um, I would like to, you know, so now I would like to give you all a few, uh, uh, you know, tips before you writing your resume. Okay, so preparation is the key. Okay, so resume should be, uh, like I told you, resume should be very short and it should be kept to the point. It should include only the relevant information, unlike a curriculum vitae for your for that particular job position okay so basically the easiest way to perfect your resume is to get started with preparation and what do you need to prepare you will understand about the accomplishments okay so if at all you have done internship if there is any previous job any part times you have gone accomplishments from your previous job is a very very important requirement also your skill set okay your soft uh, soft skills your hard skills your technical skills so on and so forth okay so please i, I haven't uh, given that here in the presentation please just note it down okay so your skill set is very important details about your previous job okay all of the necessary details about the previous job details about your education so these are the things you get prepared with okay and then your certificate
certifications, your awards, your honors, uh, you know, if at all you have done any presentations in your college, if at all you've received any kind of honors or awards from your college, write it all of that down. First, make sure you take a pen and write down, note down everything that needs to be included in a resume. After that, try to make it into a soft copy. All right. Anything else that you might want to include in your resume at one, you, you know, you, you would, you would be thinking, you know, if I put in this thing into, into my resume, the, um, uh, you know, the employer might get attracted with your resume. So once you are done, the next step away is give it a few hours, go through it once more time, go, go through it over and over again. You know, think if there are any more things to be added to it and finally come to the formatting and the layout. Now that you have everything in your hand, what do you have to do for your, you know, uh, since I asked you to keep customizing your resume, this would be the basic format. The ones which you created would be the basic format. And from that, you can just, you know, mix and match with the information available and format and layout. Okay. Uh, so um, this is a very, very important step. Choosing the format and sticking to a good layout. There are a lot of templates which are available online. A lot of templates. But I would suggest, you know, it would be really be nice, you know, if you type it down in a Google. You know, a lot of templates available in Microsoft Office as well. Okay. So, um, uh, so you can choose one template and then, you know, whichever is apt or whichever you find it, uh, you know, good for a fresher's resume, try to use that template and get put in all of your details. Okay. And also make sure... Um, your resume, when you write in your educational qualification, when you write in all of your, uh, uh, you know, qualifications or your work experiences, it is always in chronological order. Okay, make sure it is always in chronological order. Okay, so um, when you pick out, uh, when you pick out a template or when you pick out, a, you know, a, a, a layout to write in your resume, keep it very short and to the point. Okay, so one maximum resume one not more than one and a half pages max you can go to two but not beyond that all right so definitely not don't go beyond uh, two pages please unless you're absolutely sure that it is going to add in some kind of a significant value you know make sure there is a lot of relevant information added to it okay so now coming to um i had already discussed about this since no one is uh, uh, kind of uh, interacting with me i'm just uh, giving you all a recap once more as what i Thought. Okay, pick the right font and the right size. So, what do you have to do? Always make sure you pick in the right font. Your font should stand out, but not too much. Okay, so you can go for uh, Times New Roman, Ubuntu, Sigoy. All these are the app fonts for creating a resume. And also keep your text between 11 and 12 points. All right, the text, the size of the font should not go beyond 12. Okay, so it'll be easy for you all to read. And uh, pick a heading type, you know, heading H1. There are lots of, you know, when you go through a, a Microsoft Office, there are lots of uh, heading types, which yes. Okay. So what is the objective that you are going to write? See, okay, let me just move here. The objective here is something like the similar to this. Okay. So for what are you going to seek a job for? Okay. Or you can see seeking uh, to be a part of your valuable institution or valuable organization with that would help me in achieving my goals and uh, to make use of my knowledge and my skills to gain um, to achieve a, a position in your organization it could be anything so basically what your objective it, it, it can be very personal to you objective can be very personal to you so make use of the right objective all right okay yes ma'am right so do you all have any doubts And when you write your personal details, please make sure you know your name should be highly visible with the holder or uh, it could be on a larger font beyond the rest of the document. OK, so as you want to look at professional in the eyes of your potential employer, uh, make sure your email address also sound uh, professional. So uh, I get a lot of resumes, you know, every time I get a lot of resume, most of the time with uh, uh, lovebug uh, at gmail.com or zoom user one, two, three at uh, gmail. No, let, let's not use or let your email address also be professional because you are adding a portfolio. You're adding that to a portfolio of yourself and you're applying, if at all, if you're applying for creative positions, if you're applying for the post of, you know, for uh, for the role of an actor or an actress, you very well can go ahead with the creative funky email addresses. But when you're applying for a corporate job or customer support or, uh, you know, jobs related to IT, teaching, you know, art, so on and so forth, 
please make sure your email id you are um you know is very professional okay and also you know if at all you do not have a linkedin profile please create one at the earliest i'm not sure how many of you all would want to go for um you know higher education or if you're planning to work immediately after your final year i'm not very sure about that whatsoever try to create a linkedin profile and connect with a lot of professionals from your field you know you can you can connect with you get a lot of and even of course linkedin offers a lot of valuable courses which is going to enhance your skills all right so try to uh, try to um uh, try to make sure you have a linkedin profile and also uh, try to create a very strong linkedin profile okay so do you have any doubts can we include hobbies yes absolutely absolutely veera uh, veera batrun you can always add in add in hobbies uh, to your resume since you all are freshers yes and the objective is one statement you know though it can be short i'm not stressing on you all to write the objective but it would be really uh, you know if in, you can skip if you want to but that is the portion which is going to decide uh, uh, you know which is uh, which is going to make or grab the attention of the hiring manager and multiply your chances of getting the job that you applied for all right what kind of hobbies should we not i mean i don't think there could be any specification if you are interested with cycling swimming painting uh, talking listening to music watching movies or anything you name it you can add it in the hobby section but make sure you don't give a detailed explanation about of, of why you like that hobby why you do not like that hobby all right please make sure you just write a detailed um i mean sorry just give the bullet point and say these are the hobbies that i am into okay not more than four or five hobbies all right any doubts so there is uh, 10 more minutes i want you all to ask doubts participate in more than 20 seminars can i include the seminars in your resume all right so um if at all if it is uh, okay i 20 is not a big number all right but again if you want to include all of your seminars in your resume like i mentioned 20 is quite a you know it's going to take more than two pages make a tabular column okay name of the seminar the date attended and you know what was it about or the topic of the seminar attended all right so make a tabular column and try to put that into your resume don't give you know um, uh, don't if at all if it is beyond uh, four or five uh, make a tabular column you know that way it will be easier for the hiring managers to capture the data whatever is there in your resume all right ragvi yeah so any other doubts please please put your doubts what's a let it let it even be the silliest of the silliest doubt please make sure you put it in the chat box all right so um <clears throat> what kind of experiences can you all right very good question maithili i'm not sure if you have uh, uh, you know if you are a fresher uh, let i'll just give you a explanation for both uh, freshers and for uh, you know experience experience ke matlab uh, you know you can you know if at all you have interned with some companies you can also put that as your uh, you're a fresher right okay so basically it should include in case if you have done any internship your work ex your experiences uh, your work experiences can include all of that okay so in include your internship details you know from when to when you had done if at all you had you know if you had worked part time it could be anything all right so even if you had uh, um, you know if you were a part time or um, in a, in a local burger shop or in a shop as an admin assistant or an accountant you can add that as well all those things you know gone are the days where people uh, would be thinking cheap if at all you know you work as a part time or gone are the days now people are really you know people are looking for jobs not just for the financial stability all right but also to get exposure in various fields i mean um, there are a lot of i i i work in a, i work in a, you know i work in a, in a in a very one of one of the most sophisticated colleges here in the city and i can see everybody doing a part time job either they deliver pizza or they deliver food you know they are part time with zomato they are part time with swiggy i mean god 
one of those days where people feel ill about you know working part time all right now they want to gain exposure and they want to stand on their own feet and they want to earn money right so they they are into so many jobs working as admin assistants working as virtual assistants so if at all you are a fresher let me just you know uh, i'll just post it in the chat box this is a very beautiful website if at all you are looking for uh, uh, you know internships all right there are paid internship there are unpaid internships there are you know there are internship for voluntary courses all those are there so just go to you just have to register i believe you know i haven't uh, like yeah you just have to register to the site using your mobile number and you can see a list of you know from varied fields all right internship it has about there are there are so many so many internships where you can uh, get that all right so am i um, you know did i answer your question Did I answer your question, Maithili? Yeah, super. Can we include our languages? Absolutely, Premnath. You can feel free to add in as many languages as you know. If you are good in Tamil, if you are good in Hindi, if you are good in Odia, if you are good in, uh, you know, it could be French, Spanish, it could be anything. Please make sure you are uh, add in all of those details. Okay. Okay. Also, when it comes to your education section, I just wanted to make a small note of this. Okay, having a good, clear education uh, education section is essential to your resume. All right, especially um, if uh, if you if especially if you are a fresher, when your work experience is very, very, very limited. Right, if you are a fresher, your uh, your educational section or your educational column is going to speak volumes. Right, or your uh, so if you don't have much of work experiences, but your track record in your uh, school is really good, consider making your education section high. Really detailed, all right. So you can include everything, the percentages code. You can include your, uh, you know, you can include all of the details where, which school you studied, where you studied, so on and so forth. On the contrary, if you have very few years of work experience, add in that also. Or, you know, add in the internship details, add in the work details. Uh, you know, in most of the cases, I would suggest you all list your school name, the uh, you know, uh, when you attended, the period that you attended, your degree. That would be enough. But if at all, you know, you have a good track record of, uh, you know. a good task percentage please make sure to add in your percentage okay any other doubts also in your skills sections add in both your soft skills and your hard skills okay so try to differentiate but use simple word don't just copy it from google and just paste it out okay uh, do not paste you know that is not how it is going to work use simple word hard skills are the ones you know are the technical skill that can be learned taught and measured all right so whatever you are doing in college is hard skills where is so exam um, you know like uh, computer skills or your ability to operate heavy machinery or uh, it could be um, it could it could be your ability to work on uh, you know your uh, uh, work on systems all those are going to be hard skills whereas when it comes to soft skills it is your personality traits okay so that would be hard to measure but it is what makes you as a person all right so examples uh, can be how uh, good of a team player you are or how uh, driven you are how motivated you are uh, you know what kind of a great attitude you have so all these would fall under the uh, soft skills okay so the important thing is to list them clearly so it would be easy for the hiring manager to see them and to make a note of them okay any other doubts Uh, so a few people asked if you can include your hobbies, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right? So you can create a column named as additional section where you can, you know, contribute to your resume with everything. You can add, add in your hobbies. You can add in, uh, you know, if at all you have volunteered for any or uh, good causes, you can add in all of that. And then, yeah, certifications, awards, make it as a separate column. Okay. Any other doubt? Five more minutes. We will wrap it up. Thank you.
Any doubts, students? Can we include sport? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, Raghavi, you can include. If at all you're a sports person, uh, you know, if at all you have any, uh, if you have won any uh, district, uh, medal, uh, district, um, uh, you know, uh, district-wide medals or state-wise medals, please feel, or even if you have won it in college, please feel free to add it, okay? You can, definitely. You're welcome. Yes, certificates, I, I did mention, right? Your certifications, your awards. Uh, I, I think someone asked me regarding he has about 20 certificates. Can I include all of it? I'm not sure who the person is, but I I just uh, answered. Okay, anyways. All right, so if at all you have many certificates, okay, make, make it into a beautiful tabular column. Okay, name of the certificate, the period which you completed the certificate, and from which are, uh, from where you graduated. So make three beautiful tabular columns and list down one by one. Okay. Is that all? Any other doubts? <laughs> it can be of district any level, my belief. No worries at all, all right? Even if you had won it in college, well and good. Uh, you never know under what quota the, you know, uh, the job is being of, offered, even if it is for, uh, uh, you know, the corporate sector or to the government sector. Imagine if you get through with a sports quota, you know, if you miss out adding that, it is not going to hurt, right? At the end of the day, it is going to be one small uh, column where you had won so many medals or one where you had won it in a district level or divisional level. Yes, obviously. Why not? You know, that is, that is, you got it through your blood and sweat, right? So definitely feel free to add it. Understood? Yeah. Great. So any doubts, students? Any more? Shall we wind it up? Any other doubt? Great. Okay. So now what are your... Um, Activity, let me just give you your activity, all right? So this is what you are going to do as a homework activity, okay? Let me just put it in the chat, I'll chat. So I want you all to prepare a resume and post it across. Okay, let me give you the link to where you need to post it. And the assignment should be posted in this link. Okay, so I want you all to create a resume on the basis of what I taught. Okay, if it is a freshers resume, you know, experience resume, it could be anything. So I want you all to create a resume. This is going to be your homework activity. Okay, I want you all to create a resume and please fill it in this form. Upload it in this form. Um, um, latest by day after tomorrow. Okay, you all understand? Yes, everyone? If you have your own resume, yes, if you had created your resume uh, um, uh, earlier or prior to this class, no, no issues at all, no worries. Try to refine it as how I taught you. All right, yeah. All right. Yeah. Not Maithali and I for responding. Right, yeah, great, Raghavi. Okay, so do you all understand because the resume building session is done and dusted with today's uh, uh, with now. So even if you want, I mean, you will only be getting an opportunity again during the doubt clearing session. Okay, so please uh, make sure you finish your homework assignment and send it across. All right. All right. Yeah, thank you all so much. You all have a good day. If you do not have any doubts, you all, you all can leave. Yeah, have a great week ahead. Take care. Bye-bye.
Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you all. Yeah.